because that's Chinese language. It's very direct. I mean, you're indirect, but you're direct. It's very, it's very interesting. Um, and so, <laughs> I don't mince my words, basically. I'm just uh, really strong about certain things in Chinese. But in English, I would never be that way. And in Spanish, I would never be that. I'm like a totally different person in Spanish, too. And so I like the idea of having students, even from a young age, realize and recognize that in language, you can explore and find which person you like to be in the language. And I think you do that through drama. Absolutely. That was a great share. Thanks. I just wanted to make sure that I understood. Um, you introduced two different ways of introducing words to, to kids. And I wasn't clear. You said at one point the first way was better? Faster. Did, better faster. faster. Understand. Did you, but were you referring to when you go by the letters and the sounds and the, the connection between them two and then they sound out the word? Is that what you meant by the first way? We, uh, we Sorry, I was a little lost. <laughs> we introduced letters. Yeah. And uh, name only the, uh, the sound. And, uh, yeah. Uh, it like, it's like a, like a picture. Oh, it's like phonetics, right? Bites, uh, mm -hmm. uh, it's biting the note. Mm -hmm. eh. mm -hmm. It looks like a squirrel. Mm -hmm. who, is, uh, who is wearing flowers on its head? K. Right. K. Who wants to eat me? K. Right. Uh, who is um, who's holding the balloons? T. Cat. If they cannot read it, uh, k, uh, uh, I uh, help them. Right, so you're saying that was the faster way? No, no, it was something, as I understood, when we speak about our mother tongue, yeah. we start with letters. Yeah. Yes. So we, for example, take a window. In Russian, it is a word of four letters. And I put two letters together and two letters together, and I have the whole word by reading. Yeah. When it is a foreign language, we uh, practice poetry, we practice some pictures. For example, I say, Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall, and they repeat after me, Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. And all after 30, 40 such verses, I show the word wall, Humpty Dumpty, and they read like a block, like the frame. Yeah, okay. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, maybe there is some idea uh, in some books it was practiced, like you have a picture and like a plate, a plate on the desk, a hot plate on the desk, and you read like word larger, larger, and larger in the whole right, sentence. Right. Girl, a girl in the street, and something like that, and you right. enlarge your. But it's not like our mother tongue. And uh, second idea is it's very hard to teach kids to read because they memorize the words and pictures, and they pretend they're reading, but they're returning from memory. That was so... And they're so <laughs> clever, they're so fast, you know, but it's not reading. That's so put, true. Put the words in another order, and the story's not clear. You know? <laughs> That's so funny that you say that. That was so mean when I was looking And we call it primary book, like in our... And we don't have actually primary book when we speak about a foreign language, and it is hard. I took a book just for my kids, and it's for a native speaker, but uh, there was some kind of bird, I didn't know it in uh, English or Russian, and that bird sat in a tree and took some kind of fruit, and I didn't know that fruit. How can I read to my kid if with my university degree I don't understand that kind of bird, it's not typical here, and the kid should enjoy it, you know? That's the problem. Oh, why don't you just Google it? <laughs> lesson on where fabulous birds come from. Was it the toucan sand? Did he have a long nose yeah, yeah, that was really yeah, colorful? Yeah, yeah. <gasps> yeah, it's a toucan. That, I, it's not even in the U.S., but he's famous because he sells a really sugary cereal. Well, but that's a solution <laughs> for a Exactly, exactly. Um, well, both of those were great shares and uh, definitely very important in terms of reading. I took these books out because this one is kind of like what we were talking about. It's called The Shortcut, and it does a lot with um, like up, down, over, under, different directions and stuff like that. It um, 
it also has uh, descriptive words. So it's an example of one of the books that we have here that you could borrow that would teach like what we were talking about. And then there's also fun with colors and shapes. These are, this is for very young learners. You'll see, <laughs> like, color the truck red. And so you would want to obviously use something that will not stain the book, but you can get those, those markers that rub off. Um, and then color Yolanda's yak yarn yellow. So they're, they're fun. And then fun with numbers and circus of sizes. So they talk about different sizes, big, small, tall, short, etc. Okay, well, that was really interesting. Were there any other books that, or resources? You guys, I heard you talking somewhat about web resources. Was there